Jellyfish are plankton, and it all comes down to the definition. What defines a plankton is its inability to swim against ocean currents. So it comes from the Greek word for drifter or wanderer. In contrast to plankton, organisms that live on the surface, they're called nustans. This is like the Portuguese man of war. Organisms that swim, you know, your fish and your octopus, they're called nectons. And then organisms that live on the ocean floor, like crabs and starfish, they're called benthos. Now you might be saying, well, jellyfish can swim. No, not really, they can't. They can't cannot resist the ocean current. They can move a little bit, but not enough to resist the current. Jellyfish get as large as 30 meters. They're usually macro or megaplankton. We can divide plankton by size. Jellyfish are also holoplankton, which means they live as plankton their entire lives. This is opposed to many fish and crustacean species that live as plankton only in the larval stage. Finally, and you might have heard of this distinction before, we divide plankton into animal and plant plankton. So phytoplankton, those are your uh, plant cells, microalgae, they do photosynthesis, right? And zooplankton, zoa, animal, those are animal plankton. And so jellyfish are zooplankton. Now, let's recap. Jellyfish are plankton, they're zooplankton, they're holoplankton, and they're usually macroplankton or megaplankton. Hopefully that makes sense.